uh, on the pardon issue and accountability. You would agree that the president pardoning someone in return for changing his or her testimony would be an abuse of the pardon power, and the president should be held accountable. And well, a quid pro quo to change testimony could potentially be obstruction. To or for yeah. not testifying at all mm -hmm. would be obstruction of justice. If the special prosecutor or the prosecutor anywhere else came to you with proof beyond a reasonable doubt of that kind of obstruction or any other crime, talking proof beyond a reasonable doubt, would you approve an indictment of the president? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, that's the kind of thing I'm not going to... I'm not going to answer off the top of my head, but if we take it out of this context and say, if someone, if someone were, if a prosecutor came and, and showed that there was a quid pro quo by which somebody gives something of value to induce a false testimony or it non- It would be a crime. Yes. And the question is whether the president could be prosecuted while in office. I happen to believe that he could be, even if the trial were postponed until he is out of office, but because the statute of limitations might run for any other number of reasons, a prosecution would be appropriate. Would you agree? Well, uh, but, uh, you know, for 40 years, the position of the uh, executive branch has been you can't indict a sitting president. Well, it's the tradition based on a couple of OLC opinions, but... Now it is potentially an imminent, indeed immediate possibility, and I'm asking you for your opinion now, if possible, but if not now, perhaps at some point. Uh, are you asking me if I, if I would change that, that policy? I'm asking you what your view is right now. I, you know, I, I actually haven't read those opinions in a long time. Um, but I see no reason to, to change them. Well, I'm happy to continue this conversation with more time and another opportunity. Sure. 